Good evening. God bless you. Pastor Jim Doherty, Power to Change Crusades. Nice to be with you. Would you join your hearts in prayer with me? Our gracious and loving Heavenly Father, I thank you for the opportunity now to read your word, to pray, to seek your face, to really spend time with you. I just pray that the Holy Spirit of God would speak to every person that watches this video, watches this devotional time. I pray that you would minister to every person. I pray that you would speak to every heart. And I pray that you be glorified, exalted, magnified, and praised. You are God. And you are on the throne. Thank you, Father, for being so good to us. Who is alive and alive forevermore. Thank you that he was crucified for us and that we can be forgiven. I thank you, Lord, that as we speak about the truth in your word tonight, I pray that it would not return void. I commit it to you, Lord. Holy Spirit, guide me into truth and speak through me by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. I commit it to you, Lord, and commit your word to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Well, good evening, everyone. I just felt led by the Lord to jump on and uh, just read some scripture for you, reminding you that Jesus will never leave you and never forsake you. Think about that. Your best friend might leave you. Your coworker might leave you. Your church members, church people around you might leave you. Other family members might leave you. Neighbors might leave you. And it, the list can go on and on and on. But you know who never will leave you? Jesus. There's families that leave you. There's, there's spouses at times in this life that leave you. Jesus will not leave you. There's children that might leave you. We see it, unfortunately, many times throughout our life in the world that we live in. Many things that I just mentioned, many more. But Jesus will never leave you. Jesus will never forsake you. This is something that the Holy Spirit of God put it on my heart to speak on. And I felt like I needed to share it tonight. Hebrews 13, 5. The writer of Hebrews says, Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Praise God. You know, I was thinking about, too, the Great Commission. Jesus said in Matthew 28, 18 through 20, he said, All authority has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey my commands. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. The Lord is with us in our Christian walk. The Lord is with you if you know him. He lives inside of you. He walks with you. He talks with you. But he also will speak to you through his word. And the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. Think about this as well. Passages that came to my heart tonight. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 and verse 13. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Thank you, Lord, that he is our strength and he will strengthen us with his righteous right hand. But then in verse 13, as I read there in Isaiah 41, for I, the Lord, your God will hold you, hold your right hand saying to you, fear not. I will help you. It is wonderful to know that our Lord Jesus 
will never leave us nor forsake us. It's, it's so amazing and a blessing to know that God will not turn his back on us. He loves us and he will walk with us through no matter what we go through, thick or thin. But another passage that came to my heart in light of these things that I, I speak to you tonight, Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. Paul says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Praise the Lord. I just felt like I needed to share those scriptures with you tonight in a reminder that Jesus will never leave you, never forsake you. That God is faithful. That God will not turn away from you. He loves you. If you're his child, he loves you with an everlasting love. And nothing shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. But you know what? He also upholds us by his righteous right hand. And he also says to us, don't be afraid. I'm here to help. That's awesome. Let that encourage you. Let that strengthen you in the word of God. Let the word of God speak to you tonight. No matter what you go through or what you're going through right now. I just feel led to pray for a gentleman I heard of that is on life support right now. His name is Tom. And uh, the doctors tonight have given him really no hope. Uh, they said that he is brain dead with COVID right now. But you know what? Jesus will never leave us and never forsake us. Would you also pray for Tom's wife? She just had heart surgery and I've been praying for her and her husband. Would you join your hearts in prayer with me? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up Tom to you on life support right now. You will never leave us, never forsake us, no matter how thick or thin life comes, no matter what we go through in the hospital, outside of the hospital, sickness or health. No matter what we go through, rich or poor, it doesn't matter. You will be there. Even when everyone else leaves us, even when everyone else might forsake us, you will never leave us, Lord Jesus. You will never forsake us. God, you are faithful and you're faithful and true to thousands of generations. And you're even faithful today. Your word says you're the same yesterday Lord Jesus, today and forever. Lord, I lift up that gentleman right now, Tom, who's on life support. Right now, would you please just go to his bedside right now? And I pray, Lord, that you would just minister to him. I pray, Lord, if, if he's heard the gospel throughout his life, that you would bring the gospel to his mind. I know that scientifically the doctors have said that they don't see any brain waves and this and that. But God, you're God. You're amazing. Even when my dad was on life support four years ago, the doctor said he can't hear anything. But as I would talk to him and my other family members would talk, his blood pressure would go up. And I know for sure that he heard everything that I said. But Lord, I we don't know all the circumstances when somebody is on life support unless they've been on there before. But I can just say firsthand of being at the bedsides of so many precious people, even my own family members, they do hear. I just pray that the gospel that's been shared in Tom's life, that you would just bring it to his remembrance. I pray for Tom's dear wife tonight who just had heart surgery, who just went through some tough times herself. Oh God, would you just minister to her and not only through the healing and the recovery of her surgery, but also now with her husband on life support where the doctors have stated 
we cannot do anything more. But Lord, I know this. The doctor says a statement, but only God puts the period. If it is your will, Lord, from the top of Tom's head to the bottom of his toes, I ask for healing upon him in the name of Jesus. I pray also for healing upon Tom's wife. I pray for his family in this difficult time. But I also pray for other precious families that are watching that they too have been affected, not only by the coronavirus, but by infection. I pray for Evelina's mother, who is in the hospital with serious conditions right now. Infection in her blood, sepsis. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for healing upon her mom. I pray for restoration upon her in the name of Jesus. There is nothing impossible with you. Lord God, I pray for peace and comfort to Abelina and her family, that you would bring strength to her as she continues to minister to her mom from afar. As Lord, I pray that you would also be with her as it's difficult not to see her mom. She's so close to her. Lord God, I also pray for other precious families that are going through this and other sicknesses and other ailments and other things. You being God of all comfort, I pray that you would bring comfort and peace in the midst of the storm. But Lord, I pray for those that are watching tonight that maybe feel alone. Maybe feel depressed, maybe feel anxiety, maybe feel like the world is totally against them or going nuts. God, would you please remind them that you will never leave us as your children, that you will never forsake us and nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I don't know what the future holds. But I know God who knows the future, and I put my life in his hands. I pray that we would do the same. Oh, God, there's so many other precious people that I'm praying for. for. I pray for that baby, Madeline. I pray, Lord, as she was born as a preemie, and she has bleeding on her brain. In the name of Jesus, as she's home on hospice, in the name of Jesus, if it is your will, I pray that you would touch that precious baby as you did my own Esther, that you would touch that precious baby Madeline and heal her miraculously, if it is your will. Lord, there is nothing impossible for you. Would you please be with those that are going through financial difficulty? I pray for those that are going through addictions right now. I've had many over the last several days write me and ask for prayer, Lord, for dealing with addiction. Would you set them free and deliver them from alcohol, from drugs, from any other addiction? There's so many addictions that the, that the world, the flesh, and the devil throw at us. But God, I just pray that you would give each person the victory in Christ, as we are more than conquerors in you and through you. Be glorified, O oh God. Be magnified and be praised. Lord, I also pray for revival in our nation. I pray for a revival to take place in the churches of Jesus Christ around the world and in, and in North America and every nation of this planet, that people that know Jesus would not be ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God unto salvation to all that believe, to the Jew first and also to, to the Gentile. Lord, there are so many people right now that need to know Jesus in this life and in this world. I pray that we would not be shy or ashamed. I pray that we would live out the gospel and live out the love of Christ to a world in need of Jesus. I pray that we would speak the truth and speak the truth in love. But speak God's word and stand on your word because your word will never pass away. I thank you, Father. And I lift up the unspoken requests that have been written to me as well. 
You know those by name. You know those specifically. Lord, I pray for health and protection upon my family and even myself and others that are going through health circumstances. Lord, we lift up all of those to your hands. And Father, I also pray that as Jesus prayed, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Be glorified and exalted, Lord, in all these things, in our lives, until you call us home or you come in the rapture of the church. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for watching. Listen, if you're um, listening tonight and you actually have Instagram, I would like to invite you to follow me on Instagram. It'd be a blessing to have you follow my devotionals as I'm doing these every day to encourage you in God's word and praying for you. I'd love to lift you up. Um, but listen, it, it would be an encouragement to have you on Instagram if you have one. Also, I just also want to make mention, if you have um, access to YouTube, I do have a YouTube. You can receive my devotionals. Um, I'm, I do them at least twice a week. I've been doing them daily, but I think I'm going to go back for uh, devotional base for um, my sermon, should I say, on Sunday and Tuesdays is predominantly on YouTube that I'll be uh, downloading those. But I invite you to follow um, on YouTube so that you can take my devotionals as um, you can watch them. But you can also watch on Facebook Live, Instagram, Twitch. You can also watch on several social media networks. And it would be an honor and a blessing for you to listen in. And I thank you so much, all of you that write in regularly. I have people that call in, that write in. Thank you for your prayer request. Um, listen, um, I just feel led by the Lord. I need to share the gospel as I normally would. First of all, let me just tell you the bad news. The bad news is we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The bad news is, is that we deserve the wrath of God. We deserve to be judged. James 2.10 says, if you've offended in one point of the law of God, you've offended all of it. But I have good news for you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God can save you from hell, and you can be on your way to heaven. That's good news. Acts 3.19 says, turn from your sins and turn to Christ, that times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord. God can forgive you right now of all the sin that you've ever committed, no matter what you've done. And you can be on your way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I'm so grateful for Jesus coming and willingly laying down his life, shedding his blood, that we can be forgiven of all of our sins. And we can be saved from the penalty of our sins, being separated from God. And we can be in heaven with God through Jesus Christ. Would you pray with me? Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God has raised his son, Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. Right now, put your faith in Jesus Christ and ask God to forgive you of your sins. Heavenly Father, make that your prayer. I come before you in the name of Jesus and I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross of Calvary for me 2,000 years ago, taking the wrath of God taking my sin, willingly laying down your life that I might live. Thank you for being crucified for me, Jesus, being buried and rising again from the dead. I put my faith in Jesus Christ alone as you finish the work on the cross. And by the blood that you shed on the cross, would you please forgive me of all my sins? Make me a child of God as I put my faith in Jesus Christ to save me now. Fill me now with the Holy Spirit of God, and please make me a child of God. I ask this as your child now, that you would write my name in the book of life in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me and forgiving me. And now, from this day forward, 
In Christ, I'm a new creation. In Jesus' name, amen. If that's you, let me put the number right up here on the screen. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ and you've asked God to forgive you of your sins, would you please call me on my 800 number, 1-800-973-5543. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ, God has forgiven you of your sins through his son, Jesus Christ. Would you please call me now, 1-800-973-5543. I've been talking about how Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. If you're his child, wow, what a promise that we can remember on that because he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And if you ask God to forgive you of your sins, you know, Jesus, you can know these promises of his word and just put them in your heart and just remember them daily now because you're, you're his child. John 1 12 says to as many as receive Christ to them, he gave power to become children of God. Even to those who believe on his name, praise God. Call now 1-800-973-5543. I love to encourage you to write me also on social media, whatever social media that you're watching right now, write me a message. Let me know how I can pray for you. Or if you gave your life to Jesus Christ or recommitted your life, to, to our Lord Jesus. It would be a blessing to hear from you. Listen, if you would like to support Power to Change Crusades with Pastor Jim Doherty, please go to my website. I need your financial support as this is my full-time ministry as I'm reaching people on national TV as well as on social media on many networks. And I'm grateful to the Lord Jesus for him allowing me to learn how to do this. I, I've just started learning how to do this about three years ago on TV and different places like that. And I'm doing it in my live studio at home. And um, so listen, I really need your prayers and your financial support as I continue to take the gospel in person, as well as on TV, as well as social media. If you'd like to give, you can go to my website, powertochange.org, click the donate button, and you can give monthly as the Holy Spirit would guide you. And I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for your prayers for Power to Change Crusades. If you would rather give through uh, mail, I would be blessed if you would do so. It's also, um, you're able to do that. Look at the address on the screen. Uh, the screen, that is. Power to Change Crusades, Post Office Box 33901, Granada Hills, California, zip code 91344. If you write there, you can give by cash, check, or money order. And you can write it to Power to Change. Look at the address, Power to Change Crusades. Again, Post Office Box 33901, Granada Hills, California, zip code 91344. I want to thank you so much for watching tonight. I pray that you would share this devotional and share it with someone that they can be blessed of the Lord by God's word. But just remember, Jesus will never leave you and never forsake you. And let the truth of God's word really sink in tonight. As I felt like I really needed to share these things, not only in light of what we go through today, but these are promises that we can remember for eternity. Because God's word is never going to pass away. And God's word stands forever and is forever. Praise God. God bless you and keep you. And I just pray God would strengthen you in every way in Jesus name. Amen.